Precious ko, magandang hapon o umaga, gabi, kung kayo, anong oras man po kayo nakapanood nitong video na to. I am so blessed right now dahil kasama ko kayo. So with no further ado, we will be starting off with our dish right now. Ang ating dish will be sweet and sour pork. So uh, when I start, hindi ko pa talaga gusto ang sweet and sour. Either fish or pork or any other meats, no? But then again, nung nakakain ako sa isang magandang restaurant at ito yung na-order namin, natikman ko siya, masarap pala talaga siya. And then, that's the time that I started um, to cook this kind of dish. So start na po tayo. We will be starting off with our main ingredient, which is, which is the pork. So yung pork, ayan, um, this is half a kilo but we will be cooking one kilo. So yung uh, other half po kasi nito, minarinate ko na kagabi pa. So yun, uh, we will be mixing or imamarinate po natin yung meat natin sa soy sauce. Ayan. And then put some pepper. Ayan. So, mix-mix lang po natin siya. Ilang beses ko na po naluto to and I can guarantee you masarap po talaga siya. And I really highly recommend na maluto niyo po ito sa inyong mga pamilya at mga kaibigan. Ayan. So, ayan na po yung ating na-mixed. Ayan. So, ina-marinate lang natin siya for a couple of hours. But, uh, I, I already have the final mixture with me. Ito yung minarinate ko kagabi. Ayan. So, dito po tayo magkoconcentrate right now. So, sa isang bowl, ayan, um, mag-ano po tayo, mag-mix uh, po tayo ng eggs. For a start, gawin natin two eggs muna. Then, we will adjust later on kung kulang yung eggs natin. And then, sa another bowl, Ayan. So, another bowl. We need to get flour. So, mga one cup. And our tapioca. Tapioca flour. Masarap po kasi ito eh, yung tapioca. Hindi matigas yung pagkakaluto nito pagka sinamahan natin siya with flour. Ayan. So, each one cup. Ito. Uh, mix lang natin siya. Tapos, in... Okay. And then, uh, habang mag... Didip tayo ng meat dyan, uh, ubuksan na natin yung ating kalan. At maglalagay na tayo ng oil. Ayan. So, painitin lang natin siya. Low heat muna. Okay. So, dito na tayo ulit. Here's the meat. Pinakat ko na po ito sa palengke. So, isusoak po muna natin pala to sa... Sorry. So, so po na natin muna ito sa eggs. Before natin siyang ilagay dito sa flour mixtures, mixture natin. Ayan. So, ito hindi ko pa na ilagay. So, mas maganda coated na coated po siya, no? Yan, gawin lang po natin to sa hanggang sa maubos yung meat natin. And by the way, uh, thank you so much po for those who subscribe na sa ating 
YouTube channel. I just hope and pray that you may be able to share this video with your friends. Dahil yun naman po yung ating advocacy right now is uh, for us to share yung mga good dishes natin to our uh, friends and families. And all over the world, no? uh, there are some foreigners who also wanted to try our Filipino dishes. Meron nga pong nag-message sa akin, a friend of mine from India and a good friend of mine from Netherlands and they wish to have a subtitle of this video because most of the time nagtatagalog din naman talaga ako for our Filipino viewers so for our foreign viewers they would want na sana may subtitles daw for them to understand fully what I am talking about or telling them about so yon. so Habang, ayan, medyo naubos na yung ating flour mixture. That's the time na, at meron pa tayong meat, that's the time po na we will be starting frying the meat. So, let's check kung nainit na. Hindi pa. May, malalaman natin kung mainit na yung pan. So, kapag when we dip our spatula, nag, ano siya, nagbabubble siya. So, hindi pa mainit. So, let's just wait for a couple of se seconds, maybe. Yeah. So, yun. So, alam ko matrabaho pag nilagyan namin ng subtitle ito. But, uh, we will be trying our best for, for us to really reach out. Not only sa Philippines, but for the entire world. Why not? Diba? If yun yung destined ni, Lar ni Lord for us to do. So, um, aside from our advocacy na ma-share ito, um, I know that God has given me the talent. So, I just want to praise the Lord for, for this talent that He had given me and that I may be able to inspire other uh, ladies out there or women or men out there to, to try cooking. So, yun. I guess, mainit na siya. Oo, yun, no? Meron na siyang mga bubbles sa baba. So, I don't know kung nakikita sa camera, but yes, mainit na po siya. So, yan. Didip na natin siya. Hindi natin siya gagawin crowded. No? Um, we'll just give enough space for the meat na maluto. So, sila muna. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, sila muna. Habang siya ay sa naka naka medium to low heat po ako. Kasi ayaw naman po natin masunog or masunog yung, yung, ano, yung meat. Pero hindi naman po luto yung loob dito. So, okay lang yung then yung fire. Hindi naman tayo masyado nagmamadali. Ano oras pa lang? Just in time for lunch. Kaya madami rin po yung aking niluluto right now. It's because um, nagkataon din naman po na may nag-order sa akin ng dish na to. So, apart from doing this po sa YouTube, um, nag accept din po ako ng, ano, ng orders online at Dini-deliver ko po ito. So, all you have to do is to message me if you want to order this dish. I would be very happy to to cook for you. At ma-deliver ko sa inyo yung food. po. Um, nabaliktad ko na po itong uh, sinet nating fry kanina na mga pork. So, we are on our last batch of cam. Nakapag-fry uh, na po ako ng ayan, nakapag-fry na ako ng halos lahat. One kilo of the pork. Okay. So, nasa last batch na tayo. 
So, okay na to. It's golden brown na. And then, dito na rin kasi tayo sa pan mag luluto ng sauce. So, babawasan ko lang yung mantika natin. So, ayan, nabawasan ko na po yung ating mantika. Susunod na natin yung Ah, uh, this, carrots. So, uh, wala lang. Disinisignan ko lang siya for para maganda yung ano, presentation. Yeah. Itong carrots natin, ayaw natin siya yung sobrang maluluto. Mas maganda yung medyo, ako ah, for me, gusto ko yung medyo may crispiness pa yung pag ano pagkagat natin sa carrots. Hindi pong ano, di ba, kinakain naman natin ng carrots ng fresh. So, I don't think na, ano, uh, there will be a problem kung half cook lang siya. So, let's just give time for the carrots na medyo ma-half cook. Ayan. So, apart from that, gumawa na rin ako ng ating mixture ng pineapple and then cornstarch. So, yung dami po ng ating, ano, uh, yung dami ng ating pineapple, ito po yung ating magiging sabaw na or sauce sa ating sweet and sour. So, depende na po sa inyo yun kung gano'ng karami. At saka kung gano'ng karami rin yung nilagay nyo na cornstarch. Pero hinay-hinay lang kasi ayaw na naman natin na sobrang malapot yung ating, ano, yung ating sweet and sour. Maganda yung medyo may sabaw-sabaw pa rin ng konti. Kung tama lang. For me, okay na yung carrots. So, we can add up more ingredients like the bell, red and bell, uh, red and green bell pepper. Ayan. So, ito, gusto, gusto ko rin talaga yung bell pepper. Iba yung nadadagdag niya sa lasa ng mga lutuin at the same time sa amoy. So, yun nga. Nilagay na po natin yung bell pepper. Next would be our tomatoes. Ayan. Sabay na natin ang sibuyas at dawa. Ayan. Kita niyo po yung ano, yung kulay niya. Napaka-festive yung kulay, di ba? Parang pag ikaw yung kumain yan, ay, sarap-sarap talaga kumain. Which is true. Sarap talaga kumain. Then, we will add up the pepper again. Ayan. And then, soya. Mamaya mag add na lang po tayo ng salt if kulang pa sa lasa yung ating dish. Okay. So again, half cook lang po ito. We will be now putting the ketchup. Uh, 
Ito po yung ginamit ko, Heinz. Not sponsored po ito. Uh, I like the flavor, yung sourness ng, ng brand na to. At saka, syempre, um, meron na siya kasing flavor na, kumbaga, tama-tama na yung asin niya. That's why I chose this. Choose this. Although medyo, ano lang siya, uh, pricey compared to other brands. But then again, yung lasa masarap. Um, if you don't have this one, pwede naman po tayo gumamit ng regular tomato sauce. So, yung isang pack na to, it's fine already. So, yun. Lower lang natin yung heat. Then, tap-tap na. Ang isusunod natin yung ating ginawang mixture ng pineapple and cornstarch. Haluin muna natin before we pour in. Kasi nasa baba yung ating cornstarch. So let's wait for this to simmer. Tapos titikman natin siya para titikman natin kung kulang para sa alat, sa asin, sa tamis. So dapat balance lahat. So ayan, nag-simmer na nang bahagya yung ating niluluto. So Taste na natin siya. Perfect. Tama yung tamis niya. Yung alat niya. At the same time, yung asin niya. So, ganun lang, no? mag adjust lang kayo ng pineapple, ng uh, tomato sauce or yung Heinz ketchup, at saka yung sa salt. So, Huwag kayong matakot kasi kayo rin naman yung kakain nun. So, mas maganda, depende na po yun sa panglasa ninyo. And then, yung pinakahuling part would be, we will be adding the pork. Para pong magpapakain kami ng isang barangay. Then, mix lang natin. So, that's it. Okay na tayo. So, papakita na lang natin yung finished product later on. So, I'll see you next time. I just hope that you enjoyed cooking and watching this video. So, please, please like, subscribe, and push nyo na lang po yung notification bell for, para ma-notify kayo for our upcoming videos. Alright? God bless you everyone. I hope to see you again. Bye!